In this video, I'd like to show you how to, re to replace the return spring in our 4D type hand tool. First step is to remove your locator. At the very base of the locator, you'll find two places that you'd pinch and then just rotate the locator away. Next step is to remove the two red grips that are shown here. I usually remove the movable handle grip first, compress the movable hand handle as you're pulling on the second grip to remove it. In this hand tool, the spring, yours is probably going to be missing or broken, but this one is fully operational. I'll just remove it right now. Okay, to remove the return spring, we need to first drive out this pin, which is the setting wheel pin. We can do that with a pair of tweezers or a screwdriver. So we're removing this pin. And remove the setting wheel. Now, <clears throat> your return spring is either missing or broken, but this is the return spring. It's identical on both ends, so it doesn't matter which end that you attach it to. As you'll see, this hook is the one end you'll attach it to. The other end is hooked to the movable handle, or to the movable jaw. So take the one end, hook it around the movable jaw. Now, before that, you need to take the setting wheel here and put it within the yoke. Make sure that the number one is pointing out to this side. Take your pin or your pair of tweezers and align the holes. Slide it within the stationary handle. Align the hole again. Take your pin, put it into that hole. You may have to do some realigning here. But now the pin is in the hole. Take your tweezers, put it through the hook in the spring, and put it up and around. Now the hand tool is operational again. You want to reattach in reverse order the sleeves that you took off. So this would be for the stationary handle, just pushing it up and on again, and taking the movable grip just pushing it on again. The locator has two hooks on the top. You want to compress the movable handle once to the first ratchet position. This screw that is sticking out here will engage in this hole in the locator. So first attach the two tabs at the top and then rotate the locator in place. You may have to Adjust the red pin or the red knob slightly to align the hole to the screw. When that's done, push in these two areas to click the locator back in place. And that's how you replace the return spring. 